Hello everyone and welcome back to Miss Slovak Storytime. Today we will be reading Acorn Was a Little Wild. Go ahead and grab your copy of the book so you can read along with me. Acorn Was a Little Wild, written by Jen Arena, illustrated by Jessica Gibson. Acorn was a wild little thing, pointy on one end and capped on the other. He was the first of his generation to jump off the tree. Don't do that, said Oak. Squirrels will get you. I don't care about squirrels, said Acorn. I just want to roll. And roll he did. He liked the feel of the sun on his face and the wind against his cap. He even took to taunting the squirrels. Na 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 na. Sure enough, just as Oak had warned, a squirrel got him. She scooped Acorn into her paws and scrambled up a tree. And Acorn loved it, because Acorn was a wild little thing. He loved the thrill of the climb and the kick of bounding from branch to branch. Whee! Then the squirrel took a nibble of Acorn. Acorn did not love that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a minute there, buddy! Before the squirrel could nibble more, a dog came along, and the dog and the squirrel barked back and forth until the squirrel forgot all about Acorn and dropped him. And the rush, man, the rush of falling from the tree. It was even better than when Acorn had jumped that first time from Oak. Acorn hit the ground and rolled down the hill again. Look, no hands! He sat in the grass for days and days, and the rain came and pounded on his shell like a good Swedish massage. And Acorn loved that, because Acorn was wild in that way. Ooh, a bit to the right, please. Eventually, another squirrel found Acorn. Let's go, 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 Acorn cheered. I want to feel the wind against my cap. But the squirrel didn't carry him up a tree. The squirrel took Acorn and buried him deep in the ground, and that was no fun at all. But after a while, Acorn noticed cool things going on down there. The worms were so chill, wiggling around and tickling him as they passed, and Acorn laughed when they did because even underground, Acorn was still a little wild. Acorn had a lot of time to think in the dark. He felt as if he was changing. He didn't quite understand because he'd been the same wild little acorn for so long, but changing was an adventure, so acorn was all in. After a while, acorn found himself stretching and stretching and pushing hard, and then he felt the sun for the first time in ages. Acorn had grown out of his cap and popped right up through the ground, and it was so cool. He liked it so much, he put down a few more roots and kept on growing. Day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year. Acorn hadn't lost his wild side. Sometimes he shook his leaves after a summer storm and rumble laughed when the squirrels got all wet. And if a fox peed on his trunk, he dropped a stick on his noggin. He never told another acorn. Don't do that, he always said, go for it. And when the sun was low and the moon was high and the owls hooted in the night, he called all his friends together and he loved every minute because Acorn was an oak, but still a little wild inside. The end. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow along for more videos. Bye!